Hey guys, Adam Savage here in my cave with a one day build that is, I'm taking a break. Um, I'm right now in the middle of my Mandalorian Ambar rifle build. And there's so many little parts. I'm 3D printing some of it, I'm machining some of it, I'm making a bunch of it from scratch. Uh, and I'm really, really happy with how it's going, but I've been kind of pecking away at it for a couple of weeks and I need a break today uh, before I get back in and make a list of what's what's gonna be done. I, I uh, yeah, I, this is just one of those builds that I'm taking a little break to do. Um, a few weeks ago, Norm featured a beautiful construction on the site, a, 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 a sort of uh, automata mechanical dragonfly. We'll include a link uh, in, to the video in the comments below. Um, and I reached out and I was like, dude, that kid is really beautiful. And he said, hey, those guys are, are uh, super interested in uh, letting us play with products they have on their website. And I went and looked and today's one day build is one of the products on their website. And it is this beautiful car engine build. This is a four cylinder car engine in a cream color. Uh, this is on their website. It's a pretty good deal on their website. It is also on Amazon for more money. I don't know why. I, sometimes these kind of things, it's not like they're produced by the company that's selling them, but they're produced by a single factory and a whole bunch of different retailers are selling them. Like, I mean, that's kind of how Alibaba works, right? Or it's one of the ways, one of the mechanisms by which it works. So I don't know if this is an original production of the website we're including the link to or whether uh, it's made in a different factory. It doesn't really matter. I'm gonna put it together right now and I'm really excited because it's actually quite a beautiful model and I'm, I'm gonna actually raise this up so you can see the, um, well, I don't even know if I need to. Let me just show you how pretty this, this, uh, this build is. First, we've got the assembly instructions here. It's a nice fat book in a, um, we've got a matte, finish cover, which is a really luxurious feel to it, a heavy paper, uh, nice two color insides. Um, and then look at how, how generously they have labeled the vacuum form insert tray for all of the pieces of the build. I, I find that really, what an honorable and delightful thing to do. Let's put this over here, a little just spacer. We have a second tray of some beautiful parts. Look at these. Look at these anodized aluminum. Gorgeous. Oh my goodness. Oh, little valve, little valves. Oh man. Another blue, another blue. And I think this is the, yep, yeah, crankcase and all the little, oh, look at that. This, this is without a doubt, this is like a really fun, Afternoon build. Oh yeah. Plus, kind of, kind of an excellent box. Never operate this engine while unattended. All right. Um, let's see. Also, oh, the pollen bloom is making my head explode. Uh, okay. Uh, I've got a second bin here of some. Little pieces with some foam on them. So I just want to make sure I remove the foam so I can see. Ooh, Ooh O-rings, cap screws. Ooh, more cap screws. M2s, looks like it could be. Oh, some circlips. Ooh, some grease. Um, some lovely pieces. These, yeah, I, this is, uh, this is all, is that metal? It is metal. Wow, this actually looks like it's got some hand post finishing marks on it. That's kind of incredible. Uh, motor housing, got a little switch, got a little charging cable. Dude, dude. Look at that. Oh yeah, they've um, they've actually included inserts for the cylinders for smooth running. Uh, got the 
bottom of the, oh, there's even stuff, ooh, there's stuff down below there. What are you? What is that? What is that? I'm gonna have to take a look. Um, a little electronics board here, probably for, yeah, for some engines. I mean, for engine sounds, perhaps. Oh, look at these. Oh, underneath everything are hidden gems. Valve covers, yeah, amazing. That's these, oh, yeah, wow. Um, yeah, I don't know how engines go together. I've never put together a car engine. I mean, I've assembled a two-stroke, but... Anyway, um, yeah, today we're going to build this four-cylinder engine from the manual, model DM13-1. Oh, excellent. Uh, okay. Um, I've got, I'm gonna take a look inside here. The screws are barely tightened. That one's weirdly not one. Oh, wow. The screws are like double-sided. Oh, that's the battery. That's what that is. Okay, now I understand. All right, so that's just this little, a little lithium ion battery. You know what? Does it have to rattle? Does it have to rattle? No, it doesn't. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go get a piece of that foam piece of foam from the garbage and I'm gonna put the foam over the battery. Is that really the smartest thing? Do I really wanna overheat the battery? I don't think so. I think I'd rather have it rattle around. Oh, here we are, step one. Oh, I'm gonna be blowing my nose a lot because of the pollen bloom in San Francisco. Sorry about that. It says put lubricating oil in all the places that need to be lubricated. Well, that's totally clear. Oh look, it gives a little oil dot. Okay, so, uh, piston mechanism. We got how many pistons? Four. Find me, okay. It's like so, that's one. Okay, so that goes in there. And that goes in there. There we go, that's one. Uh, right, circlips and two tweezers. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so let's put one on one side. <laughs> Two. I swear on these crankshaft arms, on these uh, cylinder arms, I see, yeah, some post-process post, post -process finishing here. There we go, one, two, three, four. <coughs> one. Two.
All right, that's step one. <clears throat> step two, all right. Uh, hang on, let me down here with that. Four of those. Where are they? Up there. Phillips head. Ah, there they are. Crankshaft itself. Look at that. So which end? Okay, that's how it works. And I'm going to be putting these on. Number one, three, five. Yep, yep, yep. Okay. So uh, it goes like this. That's it there. That's it there. Will this work? Can I even get this to stand up by itself, or do I have to? Nap, nap, nap. <laughs> that was a sure, why not? Why not try it? Okay, so uh, that goes there. Like that. <laughs> oh, 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 let's lubricate. This is, uh, we've got the uh, four crankshaft arms attached, and now I think, yeah, we're breaking this puppy out. Oh, I want to lubricate these guys. Yes. So let's, um, let's lubricate the insides of these. All right. Yeah, I'm just making sure that I'm really covered here with, I'm using a little acid brush to make sure. And then these guys, down in here. Oh, <laughs> that's really neat. Oh, the head in the same direction. Okay, so, no, yep, yeah, that's the four screws. And that is the, yep. Yeah. It looks like it's only really riding on that. Yeah, well. Okay. Oh, mounting brackets. There we go. That's the big one. So, where are those? Those are here. Are these these guys? One. Two. Yes. Yes. Okay. It is those guys. All right. So, let's get these out. One, two, three, four, five. And what screws hold these together? These are the little cap screws, little shorties. And no washers to these, right? Yep, there's one. Okay, let me break out the other 10, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and Oh, here we go. So I'm already on step like four and I've already got this very satisfying thing going on. Um, I hooked up an electric drill to kind of get it going. Look at that. Look at how pretty this is. Dude, that is awesome. Okay, so I check that. Yep, I make sure that it works. It does. Now I'm installing into 
this thing, the spark plugs. Where are the spark plugs? Is this them? Yes, I think it is. Oh, three, six. Yes, look at that. So where do these go? These go, you see, in the center. Oh, wow. Okay, so now we have the, um, ooh, the valves, 16 sets. And here they all are, and they're all the same, 038, 038. So that's one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so I'm gonna pull those all out right now. Put them here, two. Okay, apparently they all wanna be that way, that's fine. Now I need 16 times 059. What is that one? Is that this one or that one? I think it's this one. <laughs> okay, and then springs times a million. One, two, three. I can't stress how useful a pair of tw good tweezers are for this build. Uh, I really can't stress enough. Just make sure you have a nice pair of tweezers. It makes grabbing, grabbing and working with these parts far easier than your big dumb fingers. Um, I don't mean that you have big dumb fingers, but I mean, I have big dumb fingers and this is helping me amazingly. Oh my God, but this pollen bloom is really kicking my butt.
Well, uh, I've been going pretty well here. Um, this is a lovely, lovely kit. It's, it's really nice to handle the pieces of the engine. It's a great scale. It's got a great weight to it. All the pieces are die cast. <clears throat> the finish is terrific. Um, and I'm not done at all. Uh, but I currently have an electric motor attached to the main gear. So I, uh, everything is lubricated well. Uh, I've got the generator in, which actually looks like it's a real motor with two leads out, so it might actually generate some power. I have no idea. Um, yeah, it's a lovely looking kit. The valves are all aligned correctly, and yeah, I'm having fun. Uh, so the next thing is the water pump assembly, 040. There it is. Uh, and then 030. Like that. And you want a little bit of the spaghetti here. Then, oh, well, that goes into that one. Uh, there's the water pump. Uh, seriously, is it? Well, all right. Uh, then it's 64, the screw with all screws. Um, oh, you know what? Let's get some on there, too. Engine moves a lot of different things. They all need lube. Oh, wait. I know, I know you don't love the long time lapse sequences, but you know, I gotta listen to some music sometimes. I can't just be sitting here under the crushing weight of my own thoughts. Jeez, bro. Who can get along with their thoughts for too long? <laughs> um, that's actually a joke that my partner makes, and she'll I'll be, uh, we'll be hanging out, and I'll be like, oh, I gotta take off. She's like, quick, could you bring me my phone? Because I can't be alone with my thoughts. <laughs> it's a good joke, because it's true. I feel the same way. Um, oh, man. Okay, water pump is in. Now 27 is a nice big pulley gear. I love that they anodized the water pump in here. You can see it in there. Can you see it? Can you see it? Hold on. Uh, maybe you can't. Anyway, there's an anodized part inside there. That doesn't seem very necessary, but awesome. Uh, okay, 27, 27. <laughs> Okay, oh, that way, oh, oh, okay. So 75 and 71, 75, yep, one of those, and 71, that's one of those nuts, right? 71, 74, there we go. And there it is. This is a, um, this is a terrific gift. Um, you wanted to get this for someone who likes making stuff, this is, <clears throat> A great afternoon build, day-long build, after which you end up with this beautiful thing. That's great. Oh, now we can put this on. Okay, so if that's the side, and this goes, oh yeah, look at that, right there. Oh, but it's, oh, 68, different screws. All right, which one is 68? 68, okay. 68 is the M3s. Oh, times eight. Oh, it's these guys, yeah. Okay, still have it. Oh, your head. Oh. You know, the one thing about these stainless screws, it's really hard to keep them on the end of my, um, of my driver here. It, um, putting it together really makes it clear how many separate things all run on the main powertrain of the car engine and how like, I mean, if you've ever built a mechanical device with like more than one output shaft, you know how difficult it can be. It's pretty amazing. I'm also like, right now I'm reading about how the Wright brothers built their first internal combustion engine for their plane. Amazing stuff. Uh, my nose again. <sighs> all right, uh, water pump is in. No, yep. okay, tension set assembly. Is there a chain for, oh, there is, look at that, there's a chain. Okay, tension set, let's see what we got. 48. Yes, there's that one, and then 41, yeah, there's that one, and then 56. There's not a lot of rhyme and reason about how this stuff is laid out, but it's, yeah, it's not bad. 56, come on, 56. 56. 56 in here. Ah, so it is. <coughs> okay, so that goes there. That goes, oh, right, it's a tension set, so that's it there. Oh, yeah, you do want a little bit of grease in there, don't you? Yes, you do. Yes, you do. So there's that, and then there's 39, so that one, and then 76, which is one of these little dudes, and then 64. Oh, there we go. Um, I get 64 on the end of my Allen. Yep, is that there? 64, right? Are you serious? Did you just unwind yourself? Come on, what's going on? What's going on here? Yeah, okay, so we got that going. Now we put that back. Oh, no. Wait a second. Yeah, that way, right? Yeah, there we go. That's it. I just had a little munge on the screw. 69, which one is that? 60. Okay, right, it's a big one. And, oh, look at that. That's the actual tensioner. There we go. Yeah, make it like that. Oh, every step is installing a brand new piece. Let's see here. That, there, and these are 68s. 68 
three. And then uh, let's see here. Yeah. Um, same rule always applies. I don't tighten all the screws and I don't tighten any of the screws until they're all actually set into their threads. Follow that practice. You will be a happy maker of things. Mm -hmm. Excellent. So there goes that. L and R. Oh, right. And that, oh, wow. Look, that's exactly where it should be. Huh. That's where me. Here comes the chain. Oh, oh yeah. All right, here we go. Ellen. Okay. There we go. Oh, no, 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 no. Come on. Come on. Ah, there we go. Okay, don't no, go on the inside of that. Silly. That's the right timing. And this is the other timing tensioner. Nice. Oh, no. It goes that way. Oh, nice. Ah, so it's adjustable. Okay. 67. Goes up there. And 74. And not 74. It's making me crazy. Making me crazy. Making me crazy. Oh, 50 plus 082. Oh, yeah, that's that big one. Yep. Okay. Plus 075, which is the spring washer. And 070, which is that one. Okay. So that goes right on there, right on the big one. Yeah. And then. Wait, come on. There we go. Uh, almost the same size element for most of these things. Excellent. It's mostly heavy. Um, okay. So that's in. Oh, I like that sound. Uh, installing the belt, 065. That is these two guys here. These red belts. Oh, there's four. Okay, so what is the arrangement? The arrangement is that to that to that. Okay. And the second one. Okay, belts are in. Oh, 06. What's 06? What's that? 06. All right. What is 06? What is that supposed to be? Oh, that's the oil filter. <laughs> there you go. All right. Uh, I like how, yeah, all right, so show me that. And this guy, ah, okay. So this guy comes in here. Oh, 78, 78. And three times 12, there they are. Yeah, that's the ones. And I don't think there's any lock washing on there, are there? No, there's just two. Okay, so, <laughs> sits there like that? Yeah. Make me, oh, no, I can't see cut through music. Chain block. All right. Assembling the battery mounting frame. <laughs> okay. So 004. Oh. Okay. So then there's the circuit board box, which is different. <laughs> and that's this guy, which gets. 054. Yep. 054. Has a nut. Okay, so this is the charging port. Great. <laughs> and this comes through there. These switch blocks are seriously it's the toughest little. Oh, I managed to get it. Damn. Okay, charging port is in. All these parts are anodized aluminum. The anodizing seems just a little bit thin, but I'm okay with that. All right, the actual circuit board, which I have around here somewhere. There it is. Okay, so. There you go. Okay. Now. Interface document. Okay, so we have one big and one small, and that's pretty easy where they go because there's one big and one small. So we do that, and we do that. I'm kind of curious how all this is going to fit in there. Dude, there we go. Okay, those are 66s. We go in there and go like that. Right. Torch 66. 66s, the M2s. Right, and so there's four of those. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro. Uh, 
this like a small nope. Yay! This goes on the back here, and this goes there. Like that. Go on the top one. Bottom, or top, bottom, or top. This one goes on the bottom one. There's nothing for the top. How does that work, everybody? Um, probably because of an earlier design iteration, is my guess. But, so I put this there. Nope. 68, right? 68 is the M. Oh, no, it's not. Oh my goodness, I'm so. 68 are the M3's time dates. Silly bird. Silly rabbit. Okay, so now, which goes to which? Oh! Impossible to know. Wait a second. Okay, so the long... Uh, okay. It looks like a longer one goes to this guy. Longer one goes to that guy. Yep. And the shorter one goes to the motor. Yep, shorter one goes to the motor. Could have been a little clearer. Okay. That... That... Really? That's it? It's done? There's so many extra screws, how awesome. Wow. That's finished? I must say, I'm kind of blown away. Okay, wait a second. Let's, uh, this is five volts. Let's get this, let's get this charging, shall we? I undid the wiring and took a look at it and I had, the drawing was wrong. You gotta make sure your motor goes to the right motor thing. Just label it a little bit. Uh, and I think it's wired correctly now. And so, I think it's time for the moment of truth. It's time to turn it on. You ready? You ready? Come here. Come here. Come here. Oh, come on. That's it. Here we go. This is our visible engine. Hey! Dude, look at how pretty that is. The crankcase sits in the oil bath, allowing the pistons to go up and down. These cranks actually activate the tabbit valves. You can actually see them moving in here. It's really nice. It's really cool. What a lovely, lovely little kit. Yeah, I am I'm very happy. That was fun. Um, this kind of kit, like I said, this makes a fantastic gift for a maker in your life. It's a fun build. It's a nice object to end up with. All around, it's a good thing. Um, funnily enough, I'm noticing some screw bosses, like one, two, three, four, five, that have nothing to go to them. And I'm just curious, yeah. Um, about what other things this engine was built for, right? Like maybe that's a different iteration. Sometimes these castings get made in one factory and used by everybody in sort of different things. Um, I recently put an awning on my back deck and while it's a consumer level awning, I noticed that a restaurant near my house uses some of the same extruded metal parts in their awning. So it's like, you know, sometimes these main castings are like, one guy, one folk, one factory makes them and everybody else utilizes them. I don't know that that's the case here, but um, the belt is actually working. It's actually going around and the tensioner is here. It's the timing on the, on the crankshafts up here for the tap of valves. It's, it's just terrific. <gasps> yeah. We'll get some close-ups and we'll call it a day. There you have it. The complete build on my little four cylinder engine. Uh, like I said, we'll include the link to where you can get this in the comments below. Thank you guys for joining me for this one day build. I've had a lot of fun.
stay safe and I'll see you guys next time. Cheers. Uh, before we wrap up, I just want to make it clear how much extra hardware there was in here. Seriously, that's fantastic. Um, two extra belts, extra springs, extra couplers, extra bits for the uh, tappet uh, valves. Like, I really appreciate a company that includes extra stuff on the tiny parts list. I think it's, it's good business. Thank you.